Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm going to take you for a walk today around our 2012 model Kia Grand Carnival, eight-seater wagon. We'll start off at the front of the car. Notice in really good order, uh, unmarked pretty much. Uh, a couple of very minor little touch-ups, uh, but once again, really minor stone chips, beautiful chrome grille running through the center there. We move around to the driver's side. Important to note that uh, Cardos have brand new tyres fitted to the front. Uh, they are a 16 inch tyre and brand new on front. Uh, probably rear, you're looking at about 70% 70, 70 tread. Finished in silver, you notice we do have the indicators in the exterior mirrors. Um, obviously we do have double sliding doors on the Grand Carnival. So access into the car from either side of the vehicle, very easy. We'll talk about the seating arrangement and everything a little bit later. Uh, once again, as we move down the side of the car, a little bit of residual polish left on the car from the detailers. Um, but overall, the finish of the car in really tidy order. As we move around to the rear of the car, you notice the tailgate section is fitted with the, uh, the scuff plate there as well, just to protect the bumper bar when we're moving cargo or kids in and out of the car. Uh, once again, all the chrome badging through the tailgate as well. Coming down the left-hand side of the Carnival now, you will notice uh, finish, finished in really good order. The um, way it's been maintained so far uh, presents really well. It's uh, actually really hard to find a mark coming down the uh, left-hand side of the car. So it gives you a really good idea overall of the uh, quality of the exterior of the car. So, moving under the bonnet of the Carnival now, a few things, we'll just run through a few, few stats. It is uh, powered by a V6 motor, obviously being an eight-seater, you're gonna be uh, you know, carrying around uh, the family, so you do need the power there. It will give you 202 kilowatts of power, 336 newton meters of torque, but at the same time, it'll give you a fuel economy of 10.9 liters per 100 k's. So you're gonna expect to get over 700 kilometers out of a tank of fuel. Um, so, you know, it's got the power there to move the family around, but you've also got the economy as well. Okay, we're into the tailgate section again now. So we lift up the rear tailgate. As you can see, we've got our gas struts on either side out of the way. Lift it right up, well out of our way. I'm six foot one and look at the clearance. So, you know, designed to be really user friendly for the family. Obviously, we have one, one seat in the, uh, in the up position at the moment. Um, obviously you can see when we fold them away, really flush cargo area if you're only utilising the five seats in the front. Um, in the event where we want to just raise the other seat back into position. See how easy that was for me to uh, lock into position, just pop it up into, uh, into the uh, position it needs to be to utilise the third row seats. Um, those two levers or those two tags to release it and pop it into place. Really simple operation, even the kids would be able to do that. So uh, not only when the third row seats are in position, just have a look at how much storage area or cargo area that you've got in the Carnival. Um, probably one of the best true people movers that you will see. And also whilst we touch on it, just look at the condition, how clean it is in the car. It's actually a really good example. So just before we move into the interior of the car, just as far as access to the third row seats, just use this one as an example, just a release on the seat here on the side. We just release that and you notice it folds straight up out of our way. Now you might think to yourself, oh, well, that's just swinging in the wind as far as passengers hopping in and out. We do have our little uh, strap here that we do just strap up from here around underneath the uh, headrest, just to one of the arms there, and it will hold it in position. Usually you wouldn't need to do that, um, just in case you want to leave it down um, when you are driving. That's just as a precaution, safety precaution. Uh, once again, very simple, like the third row seats, to pop it back into position, simply lock it back into place. We'll pull the lever on the side again, and up we go back into the set position. So really user friendly as far as the way we utilize um, all of the seats. Okay, so now we're inside the Grand Carnival. Um, I'll kick off by just running through the features on the driver's door. All of our uh, power window switches. Um, you do have a manual button there to lock and unlock the doors as well. And just up on the actual um, door trim, you've got our uh, left and right outer mirror controls, electric mirrors. 
Um, if you can see it right down on the bottom of the door trim, we do have our uh, fuel fuel tank release button. Or maybe just release the lid that uh, leads us to the fuel tank. And a very large cup holder in the door trim as well. Moving to the steering wheel, obviously steering wheel being adjustable in height just by that lever there. So set, mum or dad can set themselves up where they're nice and comfy. Um, our steering wheel has all of our cruise control buttons on the right hand side and then all of our audio controls on the left. You will notice right at the back of the steering wheel there, you do have your Bluetooth buttons. Um, this car is fitted with Bluetooth, but it also has um, audio streaming, which is a really good feature to have in the Grand Carnival. Just, uh, you know, just uh, run your own music through the stereo, and if the kids are annoying you, just turn it up as loud as you can. It does have a foot brake, the Carnival, just so you've got all this roomy area here. So foot brake down on the left down there, just a simple matter of pushing it down with your foot to engage it. Um, and then of course our park brake release button there. Obviously dashboard, we have our mileage, which you do notice mileage, extremely low kilometres, 47,900 k's. Uh, moving into the centre section now of the console, as we mentioned, uh, Bluetooth audio streaming, MP3 compatible, does CD, AM, FM, um, all your presets of course all of our heating and cooling area here important to note that you do run vents all the way back to the third row um, you do have your controls for your rear aircon here um, at your fingertips as well just moving down we just released that you notice we've also got auxiliary uh, USB and iPod inputs um, also a 12 volt outlet cigarette lighter not sure why such a late model car still has that um, but obviously ashtray as well which is uh, unused so that's good uh, is an auto automatic transmission so we can just select drive we can also drive this car in either sports shift or performance shift whatever you prefer just allows you to manually engage through the gears by this by the t-bar rather than just leaving it as a normal auto if it's mum running the kids around to you know footy and netball, leave it in drive and off you go. Moving down below the T-bar now, you notice one pull-out drawer here with another couple of good cup holders. Pop all your coins in there. Probably better not to, the kids will steal them. And then another little storage compartment down the bottom there. As I mentioned earlier, the focus for not having an actual handbrake like a lot of the older cars was to create all of this extra space through the middle. So the, the passenger in the front can actually access the second row seats if needed. Or if uh, little Johnny's being naughty, Dad will probably walk through to the back and uh, scold him. Okay, now we'll move on to safety and we'll talk about airbags. This car is actually fitted with front side and curtain airbags. So from an occupant safety point of view, uh, it's covered, covered off on everything in the carnival. Really important, obviously, a true people mover but factoring in the full safety for the family as well. Do also notice on the two front seats, uh, the driver and passenger do have an armrest on the inside, um, obviously as well as the one on your door trim on the outside. So set yourself up really comfy for a long trip. If you don't want to utilize that, simple matter of just pushing it up out of our way. Uh, once again, just assists you with that access we spoke about. Last thing we'll touch on about the car, obviously, as we mentioned, it ticks the box on safety and performance. Um, the beauty of this car, if you're looking at the video online, uh, warranty, the new car warranty started on this car on the 25th of July 2012. So you're actually covered by new car warranty, and that's the Kia manufacturer warranty until July 2017. Uh, being a passenger car, the Ks are unlimited on the warranty. Uh, every intermediate service so far in its life has been carried out as well. So you can rest assured this car thus far in its life has been perfectly maintained. So in summary, we'll just run through a few things again. 10.9 uh, litres combined per 100 k's, really good economy. 202 kilowatts, so you've got the power to get the family round. Has all the airbags, front side curtain airbags. Also, balance of new car warranty, really important peace of mind, mind until 2017. Feel free to give us a call if you've got any further questions, 9907 0555. Thanks.